Now we're in Paris at the uh, middle of the last century, and we're coming to one of the uh, favorite works of one of Paris's favorite sons. He was not a Frenchman, however. His name was Jacques Offenbach, and he was a German. He came to Paris at the age of about 14, and he was already a wizard on the cello. And he managed to get uh, playing a part in the orchestra of the Théâtre Français. He thought this was fine, until he realized that his main job would be sawing away uh, to the musical accompaniment of old classical tragedies. Now, Offenbach was a satirical soul, and he used to uh, put on for his friends at parties little skits, little takeoffs of these classical tragedies. And then he got the idea that if he could get his own theater, he might be able to stage these things as full-blown satires. Well, he was so successful that in 25 years, he did 69 stage pieces. And we're going to show you one of them today. 15 years ago, the uh, Ballet Russe of Monte Carlo put together four or five of Offenbach's stage pieces, and they made out of it a ballet called Gaieté Parisienne. They could have called it an American in Paris, a South American in Paris, because uh, you know that in the mid-19th century, the United States was not quite as rich as it is today, and there was a depression. So the traveling millionaire is a Peruvian, and I think we ought to introduce the cast of characters uh, and just sketch out the plot and the general atmosphere of the ballet. Let's look at this American, this South American in Paris, the rich tourist Peruvian. Don't mistake him for the bellboy. Those are Peruvian bags he has. Uh, he comes to this hotel, which is just opening up for the day, and like all tourists, he's going to be taken, he's going to be trimmed by the ladies, uh, by the bills, and so on. Uh, however, this uh, conflict that's coming up is, uh, is moderated for the time being by uh, the lady he falls in love with, a glove seller. Do you wonder? Now the plot gets complicated because the lady is in love with a handsome baron. And inevitably, jealousy raises its ugly head. Those are the main characters. Uh, but what you're going to see, of course, is uh, some of the ingredients that were never missing from these uh, stage musicals of Offenbach. You will see uh, waiters, of course. You'll see students. You've got to have students, all with students. They hover around the classical decoy of all such pieces, like birds, bees, pardon, around the flower. And this is the decoy, the flower girl. Oh, thank you. See what I mean by decoy. Uh, then we shall see some uh, military performance going on in this hotel. Three grenadiers will come in and they will do a very cheerful soldierly dance and get involved in a brawl. Now, I think that's just about all. I think that the scrub women are ready to start cleaning up the place. And, of course, no piece of Offenbach without a can-can girl. So, gaiety parisienne.